how's it going? I know it's been quite a while since I have had a chance to chat with you. Things have been really, really busy around the museum. Um, as I think I may have mentioned, or maybe I haven't mentioned in the past, um, we are gearing up to potentially do some restoration work on the house. So there's been a lot of work on grant applications and um, meeting with contractors and all kinds of things like that. So that's taken up a chunk of my time. We're also getting ready for um, our first meeting of the Whaley Dinner Club, which is a new program that we're starting at the museum that will um, raise funds for our restoration fund, <laughs> um, most importantly, but it will also give folks a chance to come and experience the kind of dinner party that the Whaley family would have, uh, you know, hosted in, in their house in the Gilded Days. So folks can come um, and enjoy first a special tour given by me, the executive director. Um, so it's a special director's edition of the tour. Um, and then they will be eating a four course meal with drinks. Um, and the costs for these tickets are $60 and we've sold out. Yay! <laughs> um, I'm very, very excited about that. And so I'm definitely looking forward to this event on Thursday and um, have been just really busy planning it all. <laughs> I've also been out of the state. So I recently traveled to the American Association of State and Local History Conference. This year it was in Louisville, Kentucky. And so I just got back on Sunday and uh, today is my first day of work back after returning because, um, you know, laundry and things have to happen at some point, right? <laughs> um, and so that was really fun. I learned a lot. I met tons of other people working in museums ranging from, um, you know, small historic houses like, like we have here to folks working at Montpelier, which is James Madison's house, to, uh, you know, other folks working at other big, big history museums across the country. So it was a really, really um, educational and, and fun time and good, good bonding, good museum bonding happened. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, I'm getting ready for Halloween, and that's why I'm really here to talk to you today, um, because, well, since the dinner club sold out, I can't try to, you know, for, not force you, but uh, encourage you to purchase a ticket uh, to that. So instead, I'm going to tell you about all of our Halloween programs. So the theme of our program this year is Monsters of Old, and there's going to be information um, throughout the house on different types of monsters ghosts and not just like ghosts in general but poltergeists and banshees and shadow people um and then we'll also have information about vampires and werewolves and zombies and witches and so this will look at sort of the origins the folklore how they have developed throughout history and um how they're sort of represented uh, in pop culture today of course the vampire has come a long way <laughs> since you know the 1600s um i'm sure that you know the folks living in the villages in the 1600s who believed in revenants, which is the term that they used to um, talk about vampires, uh, they, they would not understand why Edward Cullen sparkles in the sunlight. Um, and don't hold it against me that I know why, well not why, but know that Edward Cullen sparkles in the sunlight. And if you don't know what that's a reference to, just pretend like you never heard me say anything. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> um, but anyways, there's going to be information about these monsters. The house, of course, will be decorated um, spookily, and um, it'll be a fun time to come through the museum. But we also have some fun events. So we have a themed history happy hour, which is almost completely booked. So if you really, really want uh, a spot in this history happy hour, you better call me, like, tomorrow. <laughs> um, but the theme is the Celtic origins of Halloween, and the lecture is going to be given by... Um, Dr. Ellis from the University of Michigan Flint. Uh, so it should be a really, really good time. And that is actually next Friday already. Can you believe that it's almost October? It's kind of ridiculous. Um, this is going to be next Friday, uh, October 2nd at uh, 7 o'clock, just like all the rest. So the door opens at 6, and you'll be able to come in and see the house decorated and see some of the exhibit elements. Um, buy your adult beverage. Again, 21 and up events. Um, buy your adult beverage and uh, find your seat for the events. And as I said, it's almost sold out, so um, it will be crowded. Uh, last Halloween was insanely crowded, so this one will be crowded, um, but we're trying to control that a little bit with the reservations. Um, we're also going to try a new program that we call Twilight Tours. 
Um, and last year we did our ghost hunt fundraiser where the ghost hunting team actually came in and folks could purchase a ticket to um, do the ghost hunt with them. Those tickets were $30 and we sold out. This year though, the ghost hunting is up to you <laughs> if you wish to, to, to ghost hunt. Um, the house will be open from 9 until midnight. And um, folks can show up anytime during that time. Well, I would suggest not showing up at like 20 to midnight because we are kicking everybody out at midnight. So, so that's only 20 minutes. Um, but you can come at any point throughout the evening and um, participate in whatever ghost hunty type activities within reason that you wish. Um, you can bring, uh, you know, a, a tape recorder. Uh, you can bring, I guess they're not really tape recorders anymore, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, you can bring a flashlight. Uh, you can bring anything like that to use, and um, the whole house, as I said, will be open, um, and you just get to move through it with whoever you come with and do your ghost hunting stuff. No one's going to say, all right, you've been in the parlor for 10 minutes, move it along. Um, but, you know, be respectful of the others in the house, and, um, you know, don't don't yell and be loud or anything like that, especially if someone else is, you know, doing an EVP thing, you know, just, just don't be mean. Um, the cost for this is $20, and um, that's because you get to be in the house, you know, as long as you want. So if you show up at 9 and you don't want to leave until midnight, you don't have to. Um, we are, however, capping the, the event to um, 20 to, to 25. You know, we're sort of going to feel out how the space fills up. And once we get that many people in, uh, we're not going to let anybody else in unless somebody leaves. So if you get here at 1030 and we already have a full house, then, you know, you're welcome to wait. Um, we can also take your name on a waiting list. And if somebody leaves, we can call you. Um, we do, however, realize that, um, you know, if, if you're going far, it could be a little inconvenient. Um, we're doing this two nights, however. So if you miss out on the first one, try to be there, you know, right away on the second night. Um, and that is October 10th and the 24th. So I believe that's the Saturday. Um, yes, <laughs> it was the 24th. So, um, you know, come, have fun. We're not taking reservations, so it's really just a first-come, first-served basis. Um, if you want to come at, like, 10 o'clock and you'd like to call to see if we have spaces, uh, we will definitely, you know, let you know if we're full or not. And, you know, if, if you're close, uh, we'll, we'll hold the spot for you. So, <laughs> um, so that's how the Twilight Tours are going to work. You know, we'll feel it out. And if it's a success, then we will run it again next year. If it needs a little tweaking, we'll tweak it. Um, but hopefully this will be a really fun time and it puts sort of the ghost hunting power in your hands. Um, use whatever phone apps you want. I know there are those ones that like scan the radio frequencies and blurt out words or whatever. You know, bring that, bring your phone, have fun, enjoy the spooky house. It's great. <laughs> um, and then the last event is going to be on October 23rd, uh, Friday, October 23rd, and that is a monster movie night. We're going to be showing Night of the Living Dead. Uh, zombie attire is encouraged. <laughs> the event will begin at 9 o'clock. Doors will open at 8.30, and we will be taking reservations for this as well. Um, the cost is just $5, and uh, members, of course, will get into this event for free. So if you have questions about any of these events, please feel free to give me a call here at the museum at 810-471-4714, or you can email me directly at director at whaleyhouse.com, and I'll be more than happy to um, you know, answer your questions and tell you all about the amazing things we have in store for you this October. So it's only like two weeks away, or yeah, a week away, a week and a half away. Oh my gosh. Um, so, uh, you know, mark all these things on your calendar and hopefully we will see you here at the Whaley House this October. All right, until next time, I'll see you later, Whaley friends. Bye.